This introduction to pipe jacking has been prepared by the Pipe Jacking Association as an aid to engineers and others seeking an introduction to the science and art of pipe jacking. Pipe jacking is a tunneling technique for the installation of pipes using powerful hydraulic jacks to drive purpose-designed pipes through the ground at the same time as excavation is taking place at the face. A range of machines are available to suit varying ground conditions to install pipes typically in the range of 150 to 2,400 mm or greater if required. Lengths of up to a kilometer or more can be jacked depending on ground conditions and pipe diameter. Drives can be either in a straight line, to a radius, or a series of radii. Concrete, GRP, clay and steel pipes can be jacked. In smaller, non-man entry diameters, generally one meter and below, the system is often referred to as micro-tunneling, although this term is also used to describe automated tunneling operations in larger diameters. The integrity of a pipe jacking operation is dependent upon the interrelationship of a number of factors. Soil investigation and interpretation, jacking shaft design, pipe design, pipe jack shield selection, hydraulic considerations, and laser engineering and control. The latest tunneling technology has been incorporated into pipe jacking excavation systems and a range of machines are available for pipe jacking in most ground conditions, from soft water bearing strata to hard rock. A back actor, an open face shield in which a mechanical back actor is mounted for excavation purposes. An open face cutter boom, an open face shield in which a cutter boom is mounted for excavation purposes. A tunnel boring machine, a shield having a rotating head. Various cutting heads are available to suit a broad range of ground conditions. An earth pressure balance machine, or EPBM, a full face tunnel boring machine in which the excavated material is transported from the face by a balanced screw auger or screw conveyor. The face is supported by excavated material held under pressure behind the cutter head in front of the forward bulkhead. Pressure is controlled by the rate of passage of excavated material through the balanced screw auger or valves in the screw conveyor. A slurry machine, another full face tunnel boring machine in which the excavated material is transported from the face suspended in a slurry. Various cutting heads are available to suit a broad range of ground conditions and may incorporate internal crushers to deal with cobbles and small boulders. The pressure of the slurry is used to balance the groundwater and face pressure. These fully guided machines are remotely controlled from the surface. There are generally two types, both having face support capability, pressurized slurry and auger machines. To summarize, the range of mechanized excavation systems available offer a combination of rapid excavation and safety mechanisms to control potentially unstable ground conditions. In addition, remote control pipe jacking in contaminated ground avoids risk to operatives. Guidance systems linked to an operator console enable continual line and level checks. Far greater control of accuracy and tolerance compliance is ensured even in the most difficult ground. The requirement for man entry into the pipe jack is minimized with surveying operations managed from the surface. Tunneling technology enables mechanized drives up to a kilometer or greater to be undertaken, depending on pipe diameters. When operatives are working within the tunnel, a risk analysis must be undertaken to ensure all hazards are assessed to include access and egress. In stable, self-supporting homogeneous ground, typical tolerances for pipe installation are plus or minus 50 millimeters of line and level. A range of materials are used as pipe jacking linings to include concrete, GRP, clay and steel. Concrete jacking pipes, which usually incorporate reinforcement and have flexible joints and clay pipes, should be manufactured in accordance with relevant standards. Site investigation is the most important prerequisite of any tunneling project. 
This should be carried out by a suitably qualified geotechnical specialist or geotechnical advisor with considerable experience of tunnelling schemes under the general direction of the tunnel designer. The choice of excavation method will depend on ground conditions. Unstable ground at the face of the tunnel must be controlled to prevent ground loss and to enable mining to take place safely. This can be achieved using a suitable tunnelling machine or by stabilising the face using appropriate geotechnical processes. Tunnelling method selection depends on ground stability. Unstable ground can be managed either by suitable machine selection to control face pressures or by stabilising the ground using geotechnical processes. When tunnelling in unstable ground, specialist geotechnical advice should be sought. Comparing open cut with pipe jacking, it shows that disruption is largely eliminated. The requirement for excavation is dramatically reduced as there is no requirement for imported fill. On an average contract, vehicle movements are reduced by 90%. Excavated material is only around 8 to 10% of open cut volumes, and no additional quarried materials are required, so protecting the environment. The Transport Research Laboratory has developed a web-based tool for the PJA to compare greenhouse gas emissions for pipe jacking and microtunneling with open cut for sewers and utility pipeline installation. The data sources and methodology has been peer-reviewed by the Water Research Centre. This example demonstrates the significant carbon savings that can be achieved over 500 metres. A major application for pipe jacking is for new foul and surface water drainage, culverts and watercourses. It is also used for crossings under roads, railways, rivers and canals, for the installation of gas and water mains, oil pipelines, electricity and telecommunications cable ducts and subways. Pipe jacking provides the best engineered, safest and most cost-effective form of tunnel lining available and is applicable in a wide range of ground conditions. Pipe jacking and microtunneling are inherently safe tunneling systems. Man hours worked are substantially reduced as are the risks of utility strikes. Surface disruption is minimised and the finished structure is maintenance free. Compared to open cut trenching, Pipe jacking and microtunneling systems reduce the social and environmental disturbance for the installation of services in urban areas. Research has been carried out at leading universities to include the design and performance of jacking pipes, the interaction between the soil and pipes using a variety of lubricants, and the effect of various conditioners on the efficiency of the overall jacking process, including excavation. Full details of research activities are available on the PJA website. The PJA produce a range of publications to include a general overview, a detailed design guide, case studies, guidance for designers, videos and presentations. These are downloadable from the PJA website. In addition to conventional conduits, Pipe jacking has a variety of specialist applications. These include box sections for subways and roadways, bridge foundations for bridge slides, and also jacked arches. To summarise, pipe jacking is a proven system used extensively for sewerage infrastructure and other utility installations. Pipe diameters typically range from 150 millimetres to 2.4 metres and can be greater when required. Drive lengths of up to 1,000 metres are readily achievable and considerably longer lengths have been successfully jacked. Drives can be either in a straight line, to a radius, or a series of radii. Pipe jacking delivers improved engineering performance and integrity over alternative tunnelling systems.